Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kane from DJVB and this is the first video tutorial where I'm going to show you exactly where you need to install everything uh, to get you up and running with our new box mapping pack version 2. So, uh, as soon as you have bought the product you will be uh, sent a link or you'll be able to access a link from your uh, user login and that will allow you to download this file and this file is specific to you and it includes your user access keys to be able to download box mapping pack I know it's like inception you have to get a download to get a download and the reason for that is because it is a massive massive product and some users don't even need to download every part of this product all the files because there's a lot um, and some users will choose to just download it all whether they need it or not so what we've done is we have created an FTP customer download portal with all our files on there that you could possibly need and you can choose which ones you want or you can download it all that's up to you but it means you don't have to go in to hundreds and thousands of files and click and download them individually you can get it all at once so as soon as you bought the product uh, you will be able to get this zip file and then we unzip it like so and then in there we have installers and we have instructions and we have a nice handy guide with the credentials for your purchase and telling you exactly how to use FTP connectivity to get onto our server and download your purchase files. I'm going to have to of course uh, censor this because that is my key and I don't want you to have my key. So you run through that guide and that will set you up uh, with the FTP using our temporary customer license it's a floating node license which means you've got uh, a pro version of the FTP client allowing you to download all your files and if you need to access them again in a, a, a long extended delay after you've bought the product not a problem just eat, send us an email and we'll give you fresh credentials so that is how you connect and download your files so moving swiftly on we'll go back at that and once you've got onto the FTP server um, included in that guide I was just showing you as well it explains what's what and where it, certain things are in the uh, FTP file structure so you'll know exactly what you need to download and how to use the FTP uh, downloader it's all very self-explanatory anyway but I have included a guide in there so you can carry and read that so once you've um, downloaded your files you will have what looks to be like this I will just delete that now because that wouldn't be in there so that's, these are the files you end up having, right? You have the pre-rendered angles, and that is predominantly for people that don't have After Effects or don't have Element 3D licenses, and they can't make use out of the more advanced features of this product, the templates, the source material, uh, the, the, the custom structure builder. All of that does require Element 3D and After Effects, which of course you can get, um, but we don't provide licenses for that software, so you would have to have it yourself. Um, so yeah, if you don't have if you don't have licenses, you can use pre-rendered content. We've pre-rendered. I mean, this is just the MP4 versions because the file size is a lot smaller than DXV. We have pre-rendered so much content; it is insane. It is just ridiculous the amount of time it took us to make this product. Uh, there is 38 different animation styles of cube, and there is 58 different pre-rendered perspective of uh, perspective sorry of each of those cubes what that equates to if you look down here is 1102 files completely unique versions completely unique views of these animations all pre-rendered all in here this is just the mp4 folder because it's like I said it's much smaller there's also the DXV3 folder in there which is massive so that's why we have the FTP because you can just leave it downloading and forget about it and let it download so that's what will be in that folder. Uh, in the next folder, this is the templates folder. We have a few templates in here, the structure designer tool. We have the single cube six face unwrap. Now what the difference between this and a normal unwrapping of the content is that regardless of looking at a cube from one angle, you can still have the content for the other three faces of the cube that you can't see. Now this has various uses that we'll get into when we get to that tutorial, but this is the dexterity, I mean the, the versatility of this product is insane and that will become apparent much later on. 
So that actually unwraps all of the faces from a reverse view as well, regardless of whether you can see the faces, which is utterly insane. In this one, which we'll get to again in a future tutorial, is this is the irregular wall and surfaces generator tool. Now, while I was creating this product, I thought, you know, cubes is, is it looks amazing, it's really good, and you can pretty much build any structure you want. But what if I want to map onto an irregular, like a rectangular shape? And it was at that point that I decided to make my life a living hell and build even more tools for this product and design that template, which automatically extends an array of cubes into a rectangular shape of your setting so you can change the aspect ratio and size and shape of it and it will automatically do what it does and fill it up so you could create um, side screens or iMag screens or pretty much whatever you want you could do ceilings or floors with this pack that's what that does the next one extra scene logo bonus animation this one is very particular that's why I've added it as bonus it is a logo that's slightly more complex and it's only with one of the specific clips not the rest of them so I've separated it out and it's a really cool logo animation I pre-made that you can put text or, lo or your logo in whatever you want to do that's that file and then we have the audio reactive template file which is mesh deform that clip you can plug in your audio and have it react completely organically to your audio and it references the peaks and troughs for the length of the audio clip the duration of it is referenced in a way and it uses those mathematically to understand exactly how much it should animate as a threshold so you don't have to change any uh, variables to make it work well it just works so that's what that does <coughs> and of course in the main six-faced unwrap and or in the main structure tool all the logos can uh, all the lo uh, all the scenes can have logo and text implementation as well on any position of cube so that works for every single animation not just the one so that if you're looking to do logos or streams or put text into things or have brand presence that's these files here so that's what they will do and these templates I know there's what's this this is five this product is going to be updated very regularly and there is a lot more coming I have a lot of really juicy ideas that are just they were previously unfathomable but now that I've made this product there's a lot of possibilities that have suddenly opened up and you guys are going to like it so that's that okay and the final one tutorials guess what I'm recording them right now so there is nothing in there but there will be so don't worry they'll be there and they'll also be on our website next is the source assets now none of our templates are going to work until you do this step first that's why it's all in the root of this folder we have a handy video tutorial and we also have installation path now let me just zoom in on this for you this is just telling you where you need to unzip the files so they work and are automatically linked to element 3d because when you open these projects you don't want to have to relink files and assets and maps for hundreds and hundreds of instances of element so to have it automatically happen you first install the source files and obj sequences and maps into the same path that I have which is this path and then when you open the templates thereafter everything just works I've tried it I've tested it it is really really easy so I'll explain that to you right now what you do is you could either watch the tutorial and follow along or you could just follow along right now with me right here and so what we're gonna do is you will have oops, you will have these files now this is a zip and these following six files are further parts of that zip it's just been split so the file sizes are a bit more manageable so what you do is you unzip this one and you unzip it anywhere you want but what you do when it's unzipped is you will grab the whole folder and put it here that's all you do so you have your documents you have video copilot models which everyone has because that is a preset path when you install element and then in the models folder you have djvb presets that's all you do and then it works if you're on a Mac it may be slightly different just refer to the documentation and you'll know exactly where it needs to go so following that this is an extra step that I very much doubt you'll need to do but I'm gonna tell you anyway just in case there is a, a little issue with the linking so if you are still experiencing problems I would recommend doing this to get everything to relink so you've put the part that you've put the files in the right place which by the way would look like this this is the path and this is what it looks like when it's unzipped 
there's all these folders and each folder is relative to one of the styles of animations and inside each of these folders is the OBJs and the environment maps and everything required to make it work. Down here we have the element 3D presets. Everything I've made in the templates uses these as references so you don't have to link anything up yourself. Everything will work automatically so long as you put everything in the place I'm telling you to now. So if for whatever reason something doesn't link, here's what you want to do. You want to open After Effects not not one of the templates, just blank After Effects. Go composition, make a new comp, doesn't matter what size. Layer, new layer. Solid, yes. And then make an instance of element. And then we're going to go into element by clicking scene setup. And it will take just a moment to load because my computer is pretty hot after making this product. It's been on non-stop for several months. We're getting there. We are slowly getting there. Okie dokie, so we're in. Now, if something doesn't relink, here's what you do. You go File, you go Relink Scene Files, and by default, your models and maps and all that, all the paths are going to be in here. I've taken them out so I can show you exactly how you put them back. So, you go Add Path, and then you'll go to your Presets folder. I've got a shortcut here, but you know where it is. It's in Your Name, it's in Documents, it's in Video Copilot, it's in Models, and there it is, DJVB Presets. So you just add the Video Copilot, folder back in and you tell it to search in deep into the folders five six seven or eight maybe then you go okay and now that's saved and it will save into your .ini file for After Effects so now when you next open After Effects or Element it knows that's where it needs to look everything will find everything absolutely perfect that guys concludes the installation and quick start guide to getting this up and running we're gonna move on to another tutorial now and I'll see you in it thank you and happy mixing DJ VB